Hello guys, welcome back to Black Desert Mobile new update review guys. In this update finally we got the new map Dragon. Uh, we got uh, new events, uh, some other changes, improvements. So yeah, let's get started. So as you can see, uh, after Kama Sylvia, okay, which was the the highest map till now, we get Dragon, okay? This is the new zone for higher CP. It starts as you can see from 39,100 recommended is 39,000 CP so it's not a map for everybody for sure uh, I'm getting closer to 39,000 and maybe soon 40,000 if I get lucky so and the highest CP is here guys okay 43,000 I might try to see if I can farm in here but you don't you won't want to farm okay because there are some changes to this new zone of the loot so you're gonna see i'm gonna read the patch notes because there are there are some improvements okay so it's not really worth uh, farming in areas like these ones okay you're gonna see why uh what are what is the what are the loots what's changed with the loot so as you can see we still get the akrad the the jewels um we get pink axes uh, sorry primal accessories we get the world on dim tree spirit we get relics okay and the other stuff but the loot there are two loot chests one is Sherek Han's legacy where you can obtain ancient inscribed leaves, inscribed leaves, chapra secret book, lapis lazuli, experience scrolls, chaos core, totems, shadow note and this one this one gives you boss stamps and all the other stuff Okay, so there are like two types of um, loot chest. Okay, so that's really cool. Um, so we can get also cores from the chest, which is really cool, because on this one, from the other chest, the one you to get from the Kama Sylvia, you could not, which is really nice to get extra, especially now that we need so many chaos jewel. Hopefully, also the drop rate for a crowd is better in here. I really hope okay so let's see so there are how many areas one there are like five areas okay and one town okay so that's uh, plenty areas okay so here you can see a hip conflict zone Cal Calc Canyon March Outpost March Camp they are so the names are really weird and don't forget guys there's knowledge to be gained okay from defeating the monsters so more cp to gain okay so don't forget uh, also we have new story so let's check the story quest here dragon the land of dragons oh two chaos jewels guys that's the final reward five abyssal relics and also in Scribe list. Let's see what other rewards we have in here. Post stamps, abyssal condensed dark energy. Ooh, 30 Akram prophecy, 50%. Root of sorcery, crown stones. The rewards are really good. Tears of goddess. Oh, 25 chaos score. The rewards are good. 1200 chaos crystals. Also, we get dimensional fragments. I tell you the rewards are really nice as you can see what they get and there are lots of quests with really cool rewards wow not bad the, all the rewards are good guys as you can see so I'll try to see if I can complete this this is the final reward and we get also uh, five attack five defenses knowledge that's nice so this is the new story this one uh, I think you can complete after completing the Kama Sylvia. I'm gonna check the patch notes. I'm not sure if you have to complete the entire Kama Sylvia to start this, the Dragon story quest. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see the events. Oh, let's see what we got in the mail. Okay, so we got combat, uh, camp manager Irene. We got uh, the chicken soups boat version. Fifteen thousand chapra dust. Okay. I'll take all. Nice, thank you. Okay, let's get it. Okay, so let's check the events, guys. For family fame, 
for this is for almost two weeks complete path of glory and we get extra like two season nine entries and five tooth nest map pieces if you complete five times that's really cool i'm gonna do today this i have like uh, to do seven runs ordeals of the fallen so this is where we have, uh, it's uh, in specific days where we have to defeat uh, this boss, okay. Um, it's Saturday, Sunday and Monday between 12 and 23, zero, zero. These are the rewards, Dimension Fragments 100 and Holy Vials 300, okay. So for three days we get this, not bad. Uh, then uh, we, we get the battle ordeals, okay. We'll be stand in the mailbox when uh, on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So check your mailbox on those days. Okay, so you can enter. Then we have Dimension Fragments missions for one week, where we have to uh, st stay login for 90 minutes, so one hour and a half. We get magical essences and abyssal crystal, and we complete this ones three, seven, and then ten times. We get up to six. No. How much? Uh, 400 dimensional fragments, not bad. That's not bad. And by the way, the requirement to craft chaos gear now should be less, no? Used to be like 600, did they change that or not yet? Anyways, guild party up. This is another event for 13 days, so almost a week, where we have to co complete three times the guild quest, so three guild quests per day, and we get every day Valks pack, totems 100, and 5000 ancient tablets. Wish I didn't completed the quest before the <laughs> the guild quest before the I completed two before the maintenance, and now I cannot get. So I just missed 5000 ancient tablets. Yep, and uh, complete guild rushes. Oh, so if you complete to get also 500 holy vials of light, okay. So every day, guys, we can get this daily guild quest mission. See, every day, 5,000 ancient tablets, not bad. So there's lots of uh, ancient tablets. Then we have, uh, still have these daily missions for another 13 days. Don't forget about the three, a crowd and 1,000 black pearls and the chaos jewel. If you didn't claim it yet, okay. Uh, we have the this one for another week. Daily support. We we'll get this chest, which are nice. The fishing for another week, okay. So don't forget to exchange. Okay, I already exchanged them. Rate up for vials, holy vials, and monthly login. Still there. Some nice rewards in there also. Black Spirit Mission Pass still for another 70 days. Plenty time to get the other rewards. Okay, so these are the events. Um, let's go and check the patch notes. Okay, really fast. Because in there we have some more details. Okay. About the new region. Because there are some changes, improvements to the loot system. So you want to know about that. Oh, this looks really nice. Okay, cool area. Okay, so the story, in order to start the, the story for Dragon, guys, you need to complete Northeast Camasilia Main Quest Chapter 4, Nowhere to be Found. Okay? So don't forget about that. Okay, so what they say, the new region comes an effort uh, comes on an effort to provide a better gameplay experience in Monster Zone. Monster Zones are where our adventurers spend most of their time and it's used as basi basis with, uh, with which to enjoy the other content. With this in mind, we will minimize the influence faced in Monster Zone and put our main focus on providing more pleasant gameplay experience and blah blah blah. We are also placed a few monster zones with even higher suggested CP levels in Dragon so the adventurers of every CP can find monster zones suitable for their CP. Also, we've implemented a better reward system. 
while uh, maintaining the value of rewards obtainable by adventurers at the suggested CP, you have a higher chance to obtain these better rewards uh, the more master you defeat. So now, remember, guys, remember in Kama Silvia and also in the, all the uh, Chaos maps, in all the Hadoom maps, uh, didn't matter how fast you killed the monsters, there was a specific time when you got the loot. Well, in these Dragon maps, it does matter how fast you kill the monsters. So the idea is this. Let's say you will now be able to obtain rewards you can better utilize in zones suitable for your CP uh, than from the zone with much higher uh, suggested CP. We maintain the rewards value while organizing the contents of the loot you can obtain the gun to reduce the inconvenience of having to be tedious action over and over, such as opening chests, crafting, absorbing and more. Uh, also additionally increase the time between spawns for violent monsters in the gun to reduce the gap in rewards between field hunt and only defeating violent monsters. So uh, the spawn time it's increased for violent monsters. So if you farm the violent monsters maybe in this map is not uh, really worth it. This is these improvements were made to provide higher sa higher satisfaction in rewards with CP progression while maintaining rewards blah blah. So the idea is this guys. Now in the gun maps it's good to kill monsters faster because you get more rewards. So it does matter how fast you kill the monster. Before it didn't matter. I don't know if you knew that, but it didn't matter if you kill the monster faster or not. But in these maps, it does matter. That means don't go in the higher regions on the new map. Go in the lower regions because you'll get more loot. You get more rewards. So don't go in, the, for example, don't go in this area or this area go in this area why because you'll kill more monsters they will die faster so you'll get more loot simple and i told you there are two chests now with different rewards now you can get also chaos uh, chaos scores which is nice uh, ancient inscribed glyphs you can get before i don't know if you could get those i'm not sure and also from Dragon Loot Chest you can get both stamps, ancient tablets and all the other rewards. Okay, so there are two types of Loot Chest. Okay. So, uh, sh should I go and test? Let me see if I can kill one second. Yes. I want to go there. I really want to go there. Or, should I start the... I, I need to start the, um, the story quest for this accept let's get it it will send me there oh yeah let's see but first I think I need to talk with some uh, NPC let's see how the region looks like so quite excited about this I just need to slightly increase try to get my CP to 40,000 I need some luck guys, especially with the enhancement, so my RNG is so bad, you saw how hard it is for me to get plus 8, oh my gosh, I'm gonna try again, and now I have 2 plus 6 on my gear, 1 plus 8, and the rest plus 7, uh, which kind of sucks, I was hoping to get at least 2 plus 8, okay, so this is the, nice, I get stamps also, Let's see how it looks. Okay. This is the first area. So don't forget to talk with the NPC also for the knowledge to kill the monsters. For the knowledge. Okay, let's see. Lapis Lazulis, we're getting also Lapis Lazulis, not bad. Okay, let's see if we can kill some monsters. Hit conflict zone. So, by the way, what's your current CP, guys? Can you farm in these new maps? Quite curious. I hope I can, at uh, almost 39,000. I really hope I can. Orange should be far more. It shows me orange. That's difficulty, so... Actually, I'm gonna test now. Okay, I got some... Cron stones. Chaos zone. Golden sculptures. Okay, so far so good. 
Ah, oh, we need to go. Okay, guys, so I think I'm gonna do a separate video about farming in these areas. We'll see. We will see. So, um, this is mostly what we got. There are some other improvements, changes, but the most important is this this new map. Oh, look at these ones. They look scary, bro. Oh, they have high high HP. I'm not doing too much damage to them. Okay, guys, so see you. Let me know if you can farm on these new maps. I'm quite curious what happened to him. Supposed to happen this? Yeah, seems so. One second. Defeat the enemies. Let's see what happens next before... Again, I have to fight them. Anyways, so see you soon, guys.